Hey you guys, welcome back to week two of making your French onion soup bowls. Today we're going to trim the bowl and attach the handle. So when you come back for week two, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is let the underside of your bowl, so the bottom of your bowl dry. You wanna get to a, a leather hard consistency so that when you trim, you don't get all those um, like little boogers that uh, stick on. So what I like to do to center is I like to place the object that I am trimming um, as close to the center as I think I can get it onto the board. And then I kind of just tap it lightly to get it more centered. But um, just to double check myself, I like to also take a needle tool and steadily place it um, onto the where I'm going to trim so that a circle is drawn. And then I can see if there's one side that's thicker than the other. So here you'll see that this side is thicker than that side. So I know I need to move my bowl towards the thinner side. So that will help get it more centered. So I'll do that again. I'm going to kind of erase the line with the back side of my thumbnail and re kind of draw that line. And then once I am comfortable with um, it looking even around the outside of that circle that I've drawn, I'll know that I'm centered. Then I'm going to take that extra, some of that extra clay and uh, make some coils and I'm going to make sure it's stuck to the bat. So to do that, you want to press down on your pot, not too hard, and then push that coil down onto the bat. So you're not actually pushing the coil into the rim of your bowl. Uh, if you do that, you're going to change the shape of your bowl. So you're kind of pushing down to the bat. And you're going to do that um, all the way around. Some people do three worms. Some people do four. Um, just so that you know it's it's stuck to the bat without um, and won't move when you go to take the trimming tool to it. So now I'm going to take the trimming tool and I'm just going to cut. Um, I want a simple foot. So I'm going to um, kind of clean up the edge. And then I'm going to round out the bowl and then cut out the inside so that you, uh, just a little simple foot is left. with the shape that I've created for my foot I usually take my red rib to kind of clean up any um, edges because I'm using reclaim I could get little snags and um, I just want to clean it up so it's nice and smooth so you can do the same some people add a little bit of water to a sponge and clean um, where they've trimmed so that's an option as well trimmed you can take your handles that you've made and you can kind of hold them behind it to see what they're gonna look like and then that's when I'll select which one I'm going to use and actually attach to my bowl Ready to attach, I'm going to move over to the table and I'm actually going to hold the handle behind the bowl. This way I can see the shape of the bowl and how I need to cut the handle to make sure it attaches. So I'm actually going to take an X-Acto knife, which I did not put on um, the list that you needed. So you'll need an X-Acto knife too or some sort of knife tool. And I'm going to follow the outside of the bowl and that's the line I'm going to cut. So I'm going to carefully cut it. Uh, 
once I've cut it, I'm gonna hold it up against the bowl to make sure it fits. And where it doesn't fit, I'm just gonna kind of scrape more of the uh, clay away using that um, trimming tool I used earlier. going to scratch and attach or slip and score using my exacto knife and I'm gonna get in there what's important here is that your clay bodies are the same consistency you don't want a really wet piece of clay with a really dry piece of clay it's gonna be hard to attach now I'm using some slip here but water is enough if you don't have any slip but you can use your trimmings from um, the trimming the bowl and just mix in some water and that's how you get your slip it's the stuff we cleaned off when we were, when we were making the bowls um, last week. So I've stuck the um, handle on with some of the slips so I knew where I needed to scratch directly onto the bowl so I wasn't guessing. And I'm really gonna get in there. I'm not doing just some simple weak lines. I'm getting in there and I'm really scratching it up. This will add, allow for more surface area between the two pieces to come together and um, ensure that my piece stays on during the firing process. So I'm gonna put them together. And after this part, um, it's just smoothing the pieces together. One thing I found uh, when putting these together was that the handle um, is a little heavier than my bowl, so it keeps kind of wanting to slope down, and that just would look really weird if I fired it like that, and it would probably keep falling in the drying process. So I wanna find something that will hold it in place. My first thought was to grab a sponge, but when I tried the sponge, I found it was just too tall for my piece. And even if I squished it, it would still force the handle up and probably cause it to detach from the bowl. So then I'm using those worms that I had before, put them together, and now I'm just using that to rest the handle on. And then I can, since it's in a stable place, I can now just kind of smooth and clean up the handle and make sure it looks like one seamless piece a bowl and a handle. I don't want it to look like I put two pieces together. a french onion soup bowl um, keep cleaning it up till you've got it looking how you want to and then um, it'll go into the bisque fire um, thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed this project and uh, if you have any questions i'll be here in class to help bye